yesterday I was been uh, working on the electrical here I'll kind of well I boxed in framed in where the uh, plumbing and pipes need to be covered up and where the vent needs to be uh, covered up as well for the exhaust from the steam in the bathroom um, and I'm gonna have two switches one for just the lights and one for the fan and in there so I went and I had to buy a couple of things to finish the electrical and I bought this box but I didn't pay attention when I grabbed the box this is not a two switch box this is just a uh, junction box you I don't know the official name for it but basically you would just do where you have wires connecting together and then you'd put a solid plate over the top of this um, so this doesn't work there's nowhere in here I don't know if you can see it but there's nowhere in that box around those edges to connect uh, light switches or outlets or anything like that so that's can't be used for what I need because I need to have one that I can actually put two switches in to control the lights and the fan boom there's the one I needed so you see the difference on that those four screw holes are where you would be able to put your switches or outlets the rest of it's basically the same as the other one, but that's the one I needed. I got it. Now I'm getting back to work. Let's see what happens when I flip this switch. Oh, we got some of the sheetrock up. All the electrical and stuff is done behind the scenes. I don't like doing drywall, but I'm doing it because it's the best thing to use in the bathroom. Uh-huh. See that? That is the reason that I'm doing drywall in the bathroom. So we don't end up with moisture and mold and things like that in the walls. Okay, so I literally just recorded like 15 minutes worth of stuff <laughs> and then when I hit the stop button it started recording so none of it was actually recording but anyway um, so I finished up with the first round of mud and tape and here it is um, so when I was saying that I really don't like drywall, this is the part that I don't like, the tape and mud. Um, because there's a level of patience that you have to have that I really don't have, not naturally I don't have it. Uh, I have to force myself to be patient. But the other thing about drywall, mud and tape is the most difficult, at least in my opinion, um, the most difficult part is corners. And if you're really looking and paying attention, you realize that this bathroom is nothing but corners. Um, literally, there's only one row. Sorry, I had something in my eye. Um, so there's one row or line of tape that goes around this seam right here and everything else is a corner inside corner outside corner inside corner compound corner inside corner compound corner outside corner inside corner 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 and the part about being patient is what I'm saying here see that I have to leave that alone and let it dry. This area took a little bit thicker because there was kind of a dippity do in here. So it was thicker and now it's cracked. As it's drying, it's cracking. 
even though I got the mud that's like the better stuff that's supposed to not crack if you put too much in there and you put it on too thick it will crack I don't care what mud you're using um, and then if you look at this corner you see that hole well it looks like a hole but it's not it's just a little bit of a void because really there's a lot of extra bulging crap because every time I went back from another angle doing this side and I had to go in doing this side and I had to go in doing this down here every time I did that I got into that corner and it got a little bit more crap if I would have kept messing with it all I would keep doing is messing up one of the other edges um, so you gotta like get it there bury your tape in the mud properly and then leave it alone that's where I'm at with this I am NOT an expert those of you who are experts on drywall you know it when you started out I'm sure it was a pain you're probably laughing at me now um, so now I'm leaving it alone and I'm gonna go out and get working on the other side some trim work and stuff Doki Smoky. Mrs. Howell has painted that wall. Looks grr eight. Uh, probably a little touch up, a second coat on that because it was completely bare wood down in the corner bait bead. Um, but overall, that looks good. That's done. Got to let it dry completely. Um, cut this off earlier to make it where it needs to be and then that wall will get closed off with all the plumbing and everything behind there um, and that'll be good to go and then there's a uh, there's no room in here to do any kind of filming while I'm actually working because it's a small little bathroom but what I did is I went through and I used a putty knife. I didn't do any sanding. I just used a putty knife to scrape off any of the big stuff that was sticking out in random places. And then I put the second coat of mud around to uh, kind of do a better defining of the corners and a little better blending of the seams. So now that's all got to dry. Um, again, patience with drywall. And tomorrow, oh no, it's dark. Tomorrow, I will do some light sanding and hopefully it'll be ready for paint after I do that. Um, so, that's it for today. Thank y'all for watching. Come back, check it out, see what we do next. Because after the paint, toilet 
and the vanity with the medicine cabinet are going to go in and that bathroom is going to be done with the exception of the flooring uh, again flooring is last of every room of everything we're doing um so there you go all right we'll talk to you later bye talk to you later.